Are you wanting to know how to make a Facebook page for business? Well, my friend, you're in the right place because inside of this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly what you need to know to make a Facebook page properly to start to attract customers for your business. So keep watching. Hey, Garrett Berry here, and on this channel, I teach entrepreneurs how to get more leads and sales using social media. So if you want more videos like that, be sure to go down below, click that subscribe button, and then click that little bell notification so you're always notified of videos just like this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop on my laptop and walk you through exactly how to start creating your Facebook page and do it the right way, so follow me. All right, so I'm on my Facebook feed, and the very first thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to the left and click Pages. The next step is to click Create a Page. Now it's gonna take you to this menu, and you can really choose, you know, do you wanna be a business or a brand, or a community or public figure? So if you're already promoting something online, I recommend, you know, obviously do the business or brand. If you're wanting to do like more music or more entertainment, then this would probably be the best one for you. Well, let's say business or brand, and I'll just hit get started. Now what you're gonna do is very simple. You wanna come up with a page name. Now, page names are not the easiest to change, so really take some time and think about what name do you want to name your page. If you are a business or brand or public figure, you may wanna use your own name for the name of the page. I'll just put top success tips for, for an example. The next thing you wanna do is think about the category. So if I start typing in a letter, it's gonna drop down different things. So what I would do is I would kind of think about what type of business or brand I am or what type of public figure. And for example, let's say I am teaching people how to market. So I'll say market and I can do advertising and marketing. Now for the business or brand, they're gonna want you to put in your address to your business and it is requiring you to enter that, okay? So for the sake of demonstration, I'll just kind of make something up here. One, two, three, Happy Road, Houston, Texas, 77001. Okay, phone number is optional, and you can choose don't show my address, or you know if you wanna show the business address, then you can leave that. But let's say don't show and then continue. The next thing it's gonna get you to do is to add a profile picture. Now, this is just like a normal Facebook profile. I highly recommend that you upload a professional looking profile picture, a picture that's gonna brand yourself or your business or your public figure or your logo, something that's very professional looking and will draw people to wanna follow your page. Okay, you can click that, but I'm gonna skip that for now. Then add a cover photo, okay, so this is if you probably know, this is that large area at the top of a Facebook page. You can upload that or you can click skip. And then it's gonna take you to your Facebook page. So I wanna walk through some of the main things you wanna keep in mind on setting up your Facebook page, okay? So the very first thing is after you've you know added a cover, which you can do here in a, in a profile, you wanna also add a short description. Okay, now this is gonna be a description that people will see, and this is a brief summary of your page. Okay, the limit is only 155 characters, so this isn't long, you know, they say one to two sentences. So for example, I could say, this is the page to learn the top success tips to better your life and business. Be sure to like and follow for the latest updates. Now the next thing I really recommend you do is you add a button here. So if I click add a button, what this button does is you can actually change the type of button and this will allow the person to click and take a further action towards your business or your brand. So for example, let's say you want someone to learn more about your business, you could click there and you can either have the button say watch video or learn more. Let's say I'm going to my blog or my capture page. Well, I can click learn more, then hit next and then let's say I wanna send them to a website link, I could put in the type of website that I want. For now, I'll just say google.com as an example and then save that and then finish. Okay, see now you can see learn more and I can test the button by clicking there and it's gonna take me to the destination of that website. 
So that's gonna allow people to find your website as they're hitting your page. The next thing you wanna take notice of is up here in the settings, you can click that and I can go ahead and edit the settings, okay? So let's say for example, age restrictions, you can make it you know, a certain age, you know, 18 and over if it's more adult. You can do a profanity filter, you know, you can make it where it moderates certain curse words, okay? So you can do strong or you can have it off. Similar page suggestions, you can choose whether it's recommended. I personally recommend doing that as more chances to get exposure. Over here, you can change the template and tabs of your page. So if you want the current template, it's standard, or I can edit that and look through, let's say, you know, business. I can choose that one. And you can just kind of choose a different template if you want. Now tabs, you can move your tabs around. Okay, if you want reviews to be on the top or videos, this is gonna be on the side, the left side of your fan page, okay? And then one of the last things I wanna bring your attention to on a Facebook page is insights at the top. When you click that, what you're gonna get is incredible information on actions on your page, page views, you can go over here and you can look at you know followers and you'll be able to actually see who's engaging with your page, who's following it and get tons of great analytics and insights. The, the reason you wanna do this is as you see who's actually already engaging with your page, as you see, you know, if I go to posts, as I see my top posts that I'm making, I can then adjust and make more of the posts that are working. Okay, so this is what you can do as well. So it's very, very powerful. And as you do this, you'll be able to easily start getting more engagement and more exposure. All right, my friend, now you know how to make a Facebook page, but how do you start generating leads for your business? Well, be sure to grab my free training audio, 17 ways to get leads today, either in the description or head to Gary Gets Results forward slash 17 ways. On that audio, I reveal 17 different simple ways to start generating tons of leads for your business. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, my friend. If you did, be sure to click the like button below, share it with your friends, any business partners, and be sure to subscribe. Last but not least, I'd love to hear your feedback. Comment below, what do you want me to help you with next? I'm putting out these videos daily and I'd love to help you more, my friend. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you on the next video.